Joining us is John Lavallo from UBS, covers the home builders. John, what, what do you make of those comments next to the set of data that Lennar gave us, including new orders, which also were better than expected? Thanks for having me, Sarah. Look, I think Stuart's exactly right. Things are moderating. And look, it should have been fully expected when interest rates go up, especially by this magnitude in a short period of time, there's a reset period for, for investors. Uh, our view is that we're going to moderate sort of at a high level, and that's going to allow the builders to have elevated earnings for quite some time. So do you think the market's overdoing it when it comes to some of these declines? I'm just looking for the year down. D.R. Horton down 43 percent. Lennar's down also about 43 percent. Yeah, 100 percent. I mean, not to be a sensationalist, but the market is discounting a great recession. The GFC. I mean, think about it. We're trading three turns below on a PE basis when where we were in 2005 heading into the GFC, one and a half turns on a price to book basis. The builders have half the leverage. The market is, is running at half the pace that we were in 2005. And the, the builders have twice the market share. It's a whole different ballgame, but we're trading as if we're going into the end of the world. Charlie, how do valuations look to you? Any value here? The market is acting like there's a 75% chance of a recession. And I think that's a little overstated. And so cyclical names, housing names are acting like it's a very high chance of a recession. I think that's a little overstated and therefore there is value in these names. But I'm not gonna try and kid you, if we do really have a recession and if it's not the shallow one that I'm predicting, then it's not a great time to own cyclical names, not a great time to own housing names. But they weren't, this is not the same as the great financial crisis. Uh, retail investors, homeowners are in much better shape. We don't have the mortgage problems that we had before. So I think any kind of problems in housing will be relatively short-lived. All right. Two, two optimists when it comes to housing, even though the Fed is, is really raising rates, and that is squarely in the crosshairs. John, thank you for joining us.